catch on fire and people will come for miles to watch you burn and for years men have come and gone, fires lit and many fires extinguished. It's like a wildfire, constantly burning, it's torturing my thoughts, preventing my brain from ever learning. So I'm stuck with what I know, with no hope of moving ahead. They try to fight the flames, but end up increasing the heat instead. For a year now, an inferno has torched all the competition in NXT. He still even provides hell for those whose heads he lives rent free. Walter, Riddle, Lee, Gargano, Champa, Cole, Carrillo, Fish, O'Reilly and Strong. All tales of days gone by. All memories of a time we no longer live in. Many have posed the question, where will the flames burn next? Will Inferno become one with the raw community? Or will he find himself in the icy depths of the land of opportunity? The decision has been made, it was time for the ice to thaw, for an inferno is coming to Monday Night Raw. Welcome back to a brand new video and welcome today to a very very special WWE 2K Universe Mode simulation Because the star of today's simulation is none other than my baby, my creation The former reigning, defending and North American champion and the man who in a couple episodes in the Micro Universe Will go one on one with Adam Cole at NXT TakeOver for the NXT Championship It is none other than Dante Inferno Because a couple of videos ago I saw this comment right here Which essentially gave me the idea to put Dante Inferno in the WWE on the main roster where he has never been before as of yet. I mean, I'm sure there will come a day where Dante Inferno moves to Monday Night Raw or SmackDown or wherever he decides to go in the future. That's a secret for now. But the point is right now, since we're doing these simulation videos, you guys gave me that suggestion in the comment section. I was like, you know what? Let's go ahead and find out what would happen if we put Dante Inferno, the former North American champion and the man who is reigning down there in NXT. What would happen if we decided to put him on the Monday Night Raw roster for one calendar year? How would he fare against superstars like The Fiend, Roman Reigns, Drew McIntyre, MVP, The New Day, and everyone else in between who is on the Monday Night Raw roster in this simulation. And so yeah, I'm not going to waste too much time on the intro today. I want to see how Inferno will burn through the Raw competition because you know he's going to do it. You know he's capable of doing it. And so without any more further ado, let's see what happens when you put Dante Inferno on Monday Night Raw in the WWE's main roster for one calendar year. And so now here we are on the Universe Mode menu and before we jump into the actual simulations or anything on Monday Night Raw with Dante Inferno, we're going to go ahead and run through the champion. So the WWE champion at the moment is The Fiend Bray Wyatt. Bobby Lashley is the US champion. The New Day are the Raw Tag Team Champions, Alexa Bliss is the Raw Women's Champion, and Mr. Money in the Bank is Roman Reigns. And I know what you're thinking, why is Roman Reigns, why is the Tribal Chief Mr. Money in the Bank? It's because I'm continuing on from another simulation I did, and I was just like, you know what, this is kind of randomized, why not go ahead and do this? Kind of adds up a little bit of spice instead of always having the default champions that you start off the game with, and so, you know what, Roman Reigns is Mr. Money in the Bank, we'll see what happens. I mean, you never know, maybe Dante Inferno is going to go in and slide on in there and take that Money in the Bank briefcase from Roman Reigns, but anyway, this first Raw card is Dante Inferno on here, Kevin Owens wins in triple action against McIntyre and Styles. Bobby Lashley beats Bobby Roode. Alexa Bliss and Mickey James beat Shayna Baszler and Asuka. Okay, I see you. Nikki Cross beats Bailey. Braun Strowman beats Dolph Ziggler. Al Al Alistair Black beats Shinsuke Nakamura. And the Tribal Chief Roman Reigns pins the Fiend, the WWE Champion. Okay. And I mean, as far as I can see, the title was not on the line there, but Mr. Money in the Bank has now pinned the champion. So uh, I wonder if they're about to give Roman Reigns a WWE Championship match, even though he's Mr. Money in the Bank. I can see that happening. It happened to Charlotte in one of the other simulations where like she was Miss Money in the Bank and then she got the championship match anyway just because she didn't even cash and in. by the way, before anyone asks, I went ahead and simulated straight past Backlash because that's just a SmackDown only pay-per-view. So let's go ahead and see, is Dante Inferno on this second week of Raw card here? I hope he is for the sake of this simulation. I mean, shit, you better be here, Dante Inferno. But Bray Wyatt beats Drew McIntyre, Bobby Roode beats Seth Rollins, Bobby Lashley pins Elias, Alexa Bliss loses to Mickie James, and in the main event, Braun Strowman beats AJ Styles. Where is Dante Inferno? Seriously, Dante, this is not the time to go absent. But now we move on to 
Raw Week 3 where Mickey James has gone ahead and beat Alexa Bliss, Bobby Roode beats Elias, Bobby Lashley pins Dolph Ziggler, Bray Wyatt and Alistair Black. Oh, I'm not even gonna lie, that's kind of a fire tag team right there. Bray and Alistair the Fiend and Ali. Oh, that's that's hella spooky right there. But they go ahead and beat the New Day, and in the main event, Braun Strowman pins Roman Reigns. Where oh where is Dante Inferno? Seriously, you're telling me that you signed Dante Inferno to the Raw brand and you're not even booking him? What kind of bullshit? Anyway, with that being said, we move on to another episode of Monday Night Raw. Let's go. The yes chants are erupting in the arena, King. Yes, yes. Dante Inferno is on an episode of Monday Night Raw, and it's a rivalry match against the Messiah, Seth Rollins. He's had like a thousand different things when it comes to his hand. At one point in Seth's career, he was like, and then he was like, like, and then he was like, you know. But anyway, with that aside, we're going to go ahead and see if Dante Inferno can beat Seth Rollins here. He can. Let's go, Dante Inferno. Hey, yo, boys, break out the chant real quick. Oh, Dante Inferno. Oh, Dante Inferno. Oh, my God. I so wish it was a feature in these WWE games. Like, I haven't really talked about it yet. I'll probably make a video in the future about it. But if we could create our own crowd chants, it would be... Mwah. It would be absolutely magnificent if we could do that for these superstars. But anyway, Dante Inferno picks the win against Seth Rollins in his Raw debut. We love to see that. Mickey James beats Oscar. Bobby Lashley beats Bobby Roode. Braun Strowman pins Alistair Black. And Bray Wyatt loses to Kevin Owens on the microphone. But more importantly, Seth Rollins got pinned. How did it all go down here? Dante Inferno assaulted Seth Rollins from behind, taking his frustrations out against the defenseless superstar. The WWE Universe deafened the arena with their objections to his aggressive actions. Oh my god. Are you serious? His raw debut and Dante Fellows turned heel already. He is one like me. We are one with the force and the force is with me. I don't know what I'm talking about, but I'm gas. This is beautiful to see Dante Fellows a heel and honestly, Dante Fellows a heel is going to be even more vicious than you've ever seen before. But Oh, I am excited about this. But now we move on to another episode of Monday Night Raw here where Rey Mysterio is taking on Dante Inferno. Does he go ahead? He pins Rey Mysterio in his second match on Monday Night Raw. You love to see that. You truly do love to see that. And how did it all go down right here? Uh, Seth Rollins has had enough from his rival, taking out all his frustrations and anger on Dante Inferno with a furious attack, but it wasn't enough to lose us the match. You sucker. Suck on that, Seth, with your tsh and your tsh and your tsh. <laughs> yeah, no match for us. So we go ahead and beat Rey Mysterio on the go home show to Extreme Rules, by the way. So hopefully we're on that card while we're undefeated right now. Bobby Roode wins his triple threat match. Alexa Bliss, the Roman champion, pins Asuka. Uh, Bobby Austin and Bray Wyatt are teaming up now. Okay, they beat the New Day. Braun Strowman beats Alistair Black in the main event. But anyway, with that being said, we are now here at Extreme Rules with Bobby Lashley on the cover. Let's see what happens. Alexa Bliss retains the Roman Women's Championship. Asuka beats Bailey. Dante Inferno has done it again. I think this may be the first simulation where the superstar goes undefeated for the full year. I may be a bit biased because he's my boy. He's basically me, but I don't care. Dante Inferno is undefeated so far. I mean, when you look at it, Seth Rollins, no match for the Flames. Rey Mysterio, no match for the Flames. We took his mask and we burned it in our Inferno. Ain't no goddamn match for us. But anyway, let's go ahead and see. Won his big match against Seth Rollins. The crowd was disappointed at the outcome, feeling like he shouldn't have won after the lengths he went in the weeks prior. You know what? I don't give a damn about the WWE Universe or what they think. It doesn't matter what they think. All that matters is Dante Inferno is undefeated defeated since he came to main roster. That is all that goddamn matters. Stupid WWE Universe. Who the hell do you- It was a table match, by the way, as well. My god, Seth, you are down bad right now. No wins for you, buddy. Shinsuke beats Elias. Uh, Fandango and Killian Dane and Breezango. Uh, okay, they loot to the New Day. Kevin Owens beats Apollo Crews and Bobby Lashley in the main event where retains the United States Championship against the other Bob. Bob versus Bob. A little bit of Bob on Bob violence right there. By the way, I completely forgot to show you at the start of the episode, uh, do, you know, Dante for no stats and everything, but in case you're interested, he is currently sitting at a 90 overall because that's what he is in the micro universe. I feel like that's fair considering everything that he's done in the micro universe over the year that he's been in NXT. It's a fair rating. Maybe you disagree. Maybe you can let me know. But personally, I feel like he's defeated Walter before in the micro universe. He's he's beaten Adam Cole. He won World Games. He's a two-time North American champion. You know, it's it's Dante Inferno. Come on. But I mean, disregarding the rating for a second, he is currently getting a crowd reaction of a boo. So yes, he is officially a heel. His ally is Matt Riddle because obviously the Infern bro. And his enemies at the top. Top of the enemies list is Seth Rollins, who we just beat the hell out of. Walter and Adam Cole, of course. But, uh, you know, they're all down in NXT, so it probably won't matter in this simulation. But, I mean, just to represent the micro universe and everything, those are his allies and enemies right there. But now let's go ahead and move on to the Monday Night Raw after Extreme Rules pay-per-view. Will Dante Inferno still remain undefeated? That is the question heading into this show. Roman Reigns beats Braun Strowman. Elias beats Bobby Roode. Mickey James and Lexabus goes to a draw, question mark. Bray Wyatt loses to Kevin Owens, and in the main of... Uh, 
there's no one I want to see. There's no one I want to no, see. No, he loses in a promo against Seth Walls. I mean, I guess it makes sense because Seth is pretty great on the mic, you know. I'm the architect. <laughs> You get the point. So really, I'm not surprised that Seth Rollins beat us in a promo, but what exactly did he say? He called out Dante Furnace to the ring to confront him about his actions last week. Tempers got out of control quickly as the two superstars stopped talking and started throwing punches, turning their confrontation into a brawl. Okay, he may have beat us in a brawl, but did you meet us in a- Did you beat in his- the, the, uh, let me try and say that again because towards the end that I was speaking like like some sort of Star Wars language or something. Oh, here sounded like Jabba the Hutt. Oh, what God, a solo. Let me try and say it again. Seth Rollins may have beaten us in a brawl, but has he beaten? Uh, uh, wow. Okay, okay, no, no, no. This isn't even a joke anymore. I genuinely can't get the sentence out. Let me try it one more time. And if I can't get it this time, I'm just gonna cut this part out. Okay. Seth Rollins beat us in a brawl, but has he beaten us in a one-on-one -on -one match? The answer is no. So fuck you. And now we go ahead and move on to June week three where Dante Fido was once again facing Seth Rollins and Seth beats us in a one-on-one -on -one match. I was just saying he hasn't beaten us and he did. Okay, Seth, I see you. I see you, big dog, but let's see how we did. I bet it was cheating, wasn't it? Classic Seth Rollins. Uh, he's had enough. Uh, he attacked us and okay, we just lost. You know what? Fair enough. The guy just came up from NXT. We've got to give the veteran his his due, you know? I'm all about the, the classic stuff of the wrestling business. Ah, oh, shaking hands will buy the big superstars coffee. Uh, you know what, Seth? Fair enough. Enjoy your fucking eggnog latte, all right? But anyway, on the rest of the card, Bobby Roode went ahead and beat Elias. Uh, Bobby Lashley beat Dolph Ziggler. Alexa Bliss and Mickey James are still going on. And Braun Strowman has beaten The Fiend with Kevin Owens in his corner. Okay. But now we go ahead and move on to the final week of June here where Seth Rollins is facing Rey Mysterio on Monday Night Raw. You already know who's going to get involved in this i can't wait to see this here we go and seth still wins okay really are you kidding me what did we do um was caught unaware after his match and was ambushed by dante inferno using his entrance music to draw attention to the stage while he attacked from behind okay inferno okay some people see this superstar as desperate and cowardly but he may have inflicted the damage he wanted regardless of what people think that's the style we want that right there that dante inferno the, the inferno in nxt was a champion this man is a future hall of famer right now he is straight up the rock in the attitude era i don't give a damn what you people think it doesn't matter what your name is and it doesn't matter what you people think anyway on the rest of the raw card ruby Wright and Liv morgan the right squad went ahead and beat Shayna baszler and nia Jax. uh bobby Roode and ricochet are teaming up against a new day to pick up a win also black meets kevin owens and mickey james pins the raw women's champion and now biggie is on the cover of this episode of Monday Night raw as we begin july here bray Wyatt beats kevin owens bailey beats mickey james a po a a po a <laughs> Apollo Crews? You mean the guy who he couldn't stop smiling for five years? Too easy! Eee. This guy? Oh no, we might be the down bad superstar of the week. Dante, please tell me Seth, like, hit you over the head with a crowbar or something. What? Um, okay, he attacked us. That's, that's the reason we lost and, and, and nothing else. But also on this card, Roman Reigns went ahead and pinned Alice the Black and the New Day beat Bobby Lashley and Braun Strowman in the main event. And this is very interesting because we are now here on the Go Home Show to Money in the Bank. The Rollins rivalry is still going, but the question is, will Dante and Federer and Seth Rollins be in Money in the Bank or will it be another one-on-one -on -one match? We are about to find out. But anyway, Elias beats Bobby Lashley, good for him. That match goes to a draw or something again. Seth Rollins beats... Uh... Oh, he doesn't beat... Uh... And uh, anyway, Roman Reigns goes ahead and beats Alistair Black and Bray Wyatt beats Kevin Owens on the Go Home Show. But who the hell is this? Can I find out? Um, I mean, we came down to ringside before the rivals match with Wicked Intent entering the ring and attacking Seth Rollins to end the match in a DQ. Okay, regardless of whoever he was facing, we got our payback. We did our damn thing. He was probably facing some local jobber like Max Steele or, or uh, Gabe. Uh, uh, you know what? I'm not very good at creating random jobber names, but uh, someday I will be. But I mean, it doesn't matter about jobber names. We are now here at money. Money, 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 money. Money, money, money. Money, money. Anyway, money in the bag. Braun Strowman's on the cover. Okay, we've got some SmackDown uh, matches on this card. Okay, okay. We've been, we haven't seen SmackDown so far in this simulation. Charlotte Flair is the SmackDown Women's Champion. Do you expect anything less? She beats Paige. Uh, Alexa Bliss is still the Raw Women's Champion. Dance. Uh. That's not what I want to see. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm starting to get a little concerned here. We've lost to Rollins one too many times. Uh, Dante, this is your video. 
pick up the pace. What are you doing? How are you? There's no way we lost to get. Oh, oh, I just spoiled who won money in the bag. Okay, pretend you didn't see that. We're gonna act surprised, okay? Anyway, Jeff Hardy beats Randy Orton. Bray Wyatt uh, retains the WWE Championship. Daniel Bryan wins the Universal Championship from AJ Styles. And in the main event, oh, Co Kofi Kingston. Uh and Edge is in that match, by the way. What the hell? That actually is a surprise. Why is Edge here? Um, okay, apparently Edge was in Money in the Bank again. I hope he is okay after that. You know, that them ladder match really them ladder matches really do put some ages uh on your career. But I mean, nevertheless, Kofi Kingston is Mr. Money in the Bank, and you all know how Kofi Kingston has been acting in these simulations so far lately. He's always become a WWE champion, so I'm kinda scared that he is currently Mr. Money in the Bank. It's kinda terrifying. But anyway, uh yeah, we lost to Seth. That that sucks. But how exactly did it go down? Was it just a clean win? Um Wow. Okay, just baby face Seth Rollins beers. Okay. But now here we go for the night after Money in the Bank where Seth Rollins is taking on Drew McIntyre. Uh, Rollins goes ahead and beats Drew McIntyre with Dolph in his corner. Bobby Lashley beats Elias. Alexa Bliss beats Mickey James. Roman Reigns beats Braun Strowman. And in the main event, it goes to... Um, they just attacked each other. Okay. Well, now we move on to the final Raw of July here in this simulation. Drew McIntyre beats Alice the Black in a promo. Alexa Bliss beats Oscar and... Okay, then. I don't know what that noise was I just made, but anyway, I'm hype. Dante Inferno has pinned the United States Champion. I think he's still here. So I love to see that. Okay, Dante, I see you, big man. Let's go. Uh, made his intentions clear after blindsiding Bobby Lashley. Wow. We really are an absolute asshole in here. We're like Negan in season seven of The Walking Dead. Are we shitting our pants yet? We finished with Seth Rollins, and now we're just attacking the United States Champion. So you know what? Okay. Why the hell not? I'm not going to complain if Dante Inferno wins the United States Champion. Championship, let's go. Um, and yeah, those are the rest of the card. But now we're moving on to another episode of Monday Night Raw here. Bobby Lashley is taking on Dante Inferno again, and Inferno has pinned the United States Champion once again. So, 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 suck on that, Bobby. When you ain't got the hurt business, you're not real tough, are you? Her big man. I'm sorry, I'm joking. I love you, Bobby. But anyway, moving on. Alexis Bliss beats Bailey. Seth Rollins pins Elias, and Alistair Black beats Drew McIntyre, and also Kevin Owens pins Roman Reigns. And uh, by the way, just something to note: Roman Reigns did not go ahead and cash in his Money in the Bank briefcase. Kofi is now Mr. Money in the Bank, so uh, he's also the Raw Tag Team Champions. If Kofi has three belts at the end of this, or not three, but he'll be a two-time champion, I swear this guy Kofi is the most OP wrestler in any of these videos. But anyway, but we are ever approaching SummerSlam weekend, and Bobby Lashley has gone ahead and beaten Shinsuke Nakamura. Did we get involved here? Um, champion and challenger after a fight erupts between Bobby Lashley and Dante Fedor on the stage. The title match promises to be exciting, with the animosity running high between these superstars. Okay, you're going down, Bobby. I mean, you can have all the wins you want against Shinsuke Nakamura. Go ahead, uh, the king of strong style. We beat him too, no doubt about that. But when it comes to the Inferno against the, uh, what does Bobby Lashley call himself? The the Destroyer. The why do I not remember? What I I'm. It doesn't matter. The point is, you're going down, Bobby. The New Day goes ahead and beats MVP and Ricochet. Seth Rollins beats Elias. Braun Strowman pins Alistair Black. And Bray Wyatt with Alexa Bliss in his corner has pinned Kevin Owens. And we're skipping straight past NXT TakeOver Brooklyn because it doesn't matter to us in this simulation right now. We're focusing on Monday Night Raw. But anyway, Bray Wyatt goes ahead and beat Kevin uh, beat that. Oh my god, you know, I got a comment once saying that I need to slow down my speech. Maybe that was right. I'm sorry, it's just all these bright lights and everything, the, the millions and millions of DDJ fans. I just get a little overwhelmed sometimes. It's okay, it happens to the best of us. But Mickey James goes ahead and beats Alexa Bliss. Dante Inferno has pinned the United States Champion just before SummerSlam. Uh, and Seth Rollins has lost to Dolph Ziggler. Drew McIntyre beats Braun Strowman in a match between two big, sweaty men. <laughs> Dante Inferno attacked Bobby Lashley from behind. Wow, we are an absolute bitch. Or not even a bitch, we're just an absolute asshole in this. Like I said, we are Negan. I mean, we're all Negan, but still, I'm just, a, I probably got a baseball bat now with a barbed wire. That's how much of an asshole I am. This superstar will go to any length if it means securing the championship. You know what? That's what I love to see. It's a cutthroat business and we are a cutthroat superstar. But now here we are at the go-home show for SummerSlam here on Monday Night Raw. Dolph Ziggler beats Kevin uh, Seth Rollins in a promo. Bobby Lashley beats Bobby Roode. I think we had a hand in that match. We'll see in a second. Bailey beats Alexa Bliss. Bray Wyatt beats Kevin Owens and Drew McIntyre and Alistair Black goes to a, I don't know, because it doesn't say. But anyway, uh, let's see what Alistair Black, or not Alistair Black, Bobby Lashley. Uh, we assaulted Bobby Lashley in a ruthless attack. My God. You know what we have, Vince McMahon? Ruthless aggression. Bright lights head up in the city. We're all in. Really? I was I was singing some CeeLo Green because that was a SummerSlam theme at one point in my kid, my childhood. What? I... And we don't win the United States Championship. This is... Are you... I'm... 
Sad. Are we not going to go ahead and win the United States Championship? We were uh, apparently going to go to any lengths to win the United States Championship and we lose? Wait a second, what's going on here? Where's the... He just came out and successfully retained his title. Okay. I mean, maybe I'm a little biased here, but uh, something tells me that this guy cheated to retain the title. There's no doubt about it. Look at the look in his eyes right there. You can tell. Oh, man. I was really hoping that we could pick up our first title here at SummerSlam, but you know what? Never mind. Brooklyn is not the place. Anyway, the rest of the card doesn't matter. Randy Orton beats Jeff Hardy. Don't care. The Iconics lost to the Bella Twins. That's a kind of a banger of a match, but I don't care. Charlotte Flair is still SmackDown Women's Champion. You hate to see it. Drew McIntyre beats Alistair Black. Daniel Bryan beats Bobby Roode to retain the title, and Bray Wyatt retains his championship as well. Everyone's got gold but Dante Inferno. But now we move on to the night after SummerSlam here on Monday Night Raw. The question is, is Dante Inferno going to bounce back or not? Braun Strowman beats Roman Reigns in a promo. Mickey James beats Alexa Bliss. Seth Rollins beats Dolph Ziggler in a promo. And... <laughs> Why? Come on, Kurt. Oh, my God. Mate, we blindsided him again. We're going... You know what? This is what I love some Dante Inferno. I'm going to keep a positive attitude right now. We could have gone ahead and just gave up on the United States Championship picture, but we're pursuing him. We're not stopping at any length until this man is six feet under to take that title from him, okay? This man, Bobby Lashley, was probably out here. You're not taking this title unless it's over my dead body. We'll kill you then, okay? That's how savage we are right now. Dante Inferno is so savage right now that even Macho T cannot believe how savage we are being. Yeah, you watch your back, Bobby, because we're coming for that title. And Bray Wyatt beats Alistair in the main event. It's a potential rivalry. That's very exciting for them. But anyway, we're focusing on the US. And now on to September week two, where Shinsuke Nakamura is facing Dante Inferno. Oh, no. I was chatting a bunch of shit earlier in the video about how we can beat Shinsuke Nakamura as well. Moment of truth. Okay. Okay, I, I was, you know, I always believed in myself, really, yeah. You know how we do, yeah, Shinsuke Nakamura, no match for us. If it was 2016, Shinsuke Nakamura, maybe. But right now, you're a bum. Anyway, let's go ahead and see what happened. Um, uh, Dante Fedo had enough of his rival, taking out all his frustrations and anger on Bobby Lashley with a furious attack. Okay, I love that from you, Dante. Keep sending a message. Alexa Bliss beats Asuka, Seth Wons beats Bobby Roode, Kofi and Biggie against, uh, they beat Alistair and Bray, interesting team again, and Roman beats Braun Strowman. Come on, boys, I'm feeling that we're winning the United States Champion here soon. AJ Styles beats Alistair Black, Elias beats Dolph Ziggler, Alexa Bliss beats Asuka, and Bobby Lashley beats us in a promo, but I don't give a damn. It doesn't matter unless you beat us in the middle of that squared circle. I almost started cutting a Stone Cold promo right there, but I don't care. You can beat us in that. Bray Wyatt beats Braun Strowman as well, but uh, what did he have to say? Uh, he called us out to get one last word in. Dante Fedor responded with confidence, that's what we love to see, uh, but revealed his true intentions of trying to hurt the champion after he threw a punch to start a brawl. Wow. Who would have thought that Dante Fedor would turn heel straight away as soon as he goes to main roster. Is this a side of things to come in the My Career Universe? Hmm. I guess you'll have to stay tuned and find out. But now we're here in the final week of September where Bobby Lashley has beaten Elias, Seth Rollins beats Dolph Ziggler, Alistair or uh, Alexa Bliss beats Asuka, uh, The New Day beats Bray Wyatt, and Edge, okay, Edge is still here, by the way, because he's a part of the Raw roster, so I was just like, you know what? Go ahead, Edge. Do your damn thing. You're my favorite of all time. You can do your thing, but he loses anyway, so that sucks. AJ Styles beats Roman Reigns in the main event. No Dante Fiddle in this card, but I guarantee we were present. Yep, tensions are exploding between us and the big man. He smells like money. He looks Looks like money. He is money, but we're about to burn that money to Chris. And now here we are at hell in a cell where Maurice has gone ahead and beaten Sonya Deville. Tyus O'Neil and Sami Zayn beat the bar. Uh, Paige is still not beating Charlotte Flair for the title. Just give up, honestly. Fandango beats Rowan with Brit. You know what? Never mind. Jeff Hardy <laughs> loses the IC title to Shelton Benjamin. The Miz loses to Daniel Bryan for the Universal Championship. And Randy Orton beats Andrade Cien Almas. No sign of our championship match. Oh, wait. Hang on a second. That was a SmackDown pay-per-view. Why did I read that? <laughs> oh, my God. My brain is so mushy after all these simulations. I don't even know what's going on anymore. I can't get a sentence out. I'm just a mess. I hope you guys are appreciating the content anyway, because I'm slowly just deteriorating in front of your eyes right now. But anyway, that was a SmackDown pay-per-view. So just disregard what you saw. But last year, Dante Fedor are teaming up, and they lose to the New Day. That was all Bobby's fault. I just know it was. Uh, Asuka wins that triple threat. Dolph Ziggler beats Elias. Roman Reigns beats Braun Strowman, and Kevin Owens beats Bray Wyatt in a promo at the end of the show. Dante Fedor and Bobby Lashley were scheduled in a tag team match uh, that went dis disastrously for them. Both superstars were obsessed with one-upping the other, trying to get momentum for their championship match rather than trying to win the match. Okay. But now here we go in October week two, where Seth Rollins has beaten Shinsuke Nakamura. Alexa Bliss has beaten Asuka. Bobby 
has beaten us again. Uh, okay. Kevin Owens has beaten Bray Wyatt in a promo, and Roman has beaten Strowman for the thousandth week in a Roman. Jesus H. Christ, man. Will you give me a different match, Vinnie Mac? And anyway, how has Bobby beaten us this time? Huh? What did we do? Um, tensions are just growing. Okay, you know what? All that matters is we win in the championship match. I don't care if we lose on Raw, because before, when we were heading into the championship match, we were losing, or we were winning against Bobby Lashley, and then we lost in the championship match. So that's all that matters. Dante can go ahead and lose all he wants. We just care about the title. On this edition of Monday Night Raw, Braun Strowman beats Bray Wyatt, Alexa Bliss beats Mickey James, Kevin Owens beats Alistair Black, Bobby Lashley has beaten Shinsuke Nakamura, and in the main event, Seth Rollins has beaten Dolph Ziggler. Okay, Rollins is getting back up, but where not? Where are we? I'm really not liking where this is going right now. Bobby Lashley is building way too much momentum, but maybe that's a sign. Maybe this is good, because the more momentum you're building universe mode simulations, then the easier it is for you to lose at the pay-per-view, apparently. It makes no sense, but it's the way it goes. So hopefully, that's what's gonna happen. Go home show, four tables, ladders, and chairs. Kevin Owens wins a triple threat match. Mickey James beats Alexa Bliss. Elias has beaten Bobby Lashley. You love to see that. Thank you. I want to walk with Elias now. Roman beats Strowman for the 1,010th week in a row. And Seth beats Dom. And now, here we are at TLC for the ladder match against Bobby Lashley for the United States Championship. Does Dante Ferro win his first title here being on main roster against Bobby Lashley? We're about to find out. You know what? Maybe this is just the way it's supposed to go. You try your best, and sometimes you don't succeed. And for some reason, AEW is on this TLC card. I don't even. I, I don't even have the emotional. Uh, I don't even know. I don't have the words. I. I'm just sad that we didn't win the United States Championship. Nick Jackson and Matt Jackson retain the titles. Roman beat Strowman again in a TLC match. Chris Jericho beats Darby Allin for the TNT Championship for some reason. Seth Rollins has pinned off again. Bray has retained the title again. CM Punk has retained the AW title against Kenny Omega. Okay. And Kofi <gasps> has cashed in money in the back successfully and is once again the WWE Champion. Oh my god, Kofi. Kofi is OP. OP Kofi Mania. Wow, this man, Kofi, every single simulation, he's different. He's built different. It's the only way I can put it. Kofi is simply built different. He takes the WWE Championship put it off Bray Wyatt after cashing in money in the bank. Okay. But anyway, moving on from tables, ladders, and chairs, that very depressing pay-per-view right there. Kevin Owens is going to end beating Xavier Woods. Alexa Bliss beats Bailey. Uh, the right squad beats Shader and Nia again. Kofi has beaten Bray Wyatt at a promo. Go on, Kofi, kid. And Drew beats Roman. No sign of Dante Inferno. Mustafa Ali is on the cover of this edition of Monday Night Raw. Bray Wyatt beats Drew McIntyre. Bobby Lashley has beaten Elias, still the United States Champion. God damn it. Bailey has pinned the Raw Women's Champion. Roman Reigns beats Apollo Crews. Ha ha. <laughs> Suck on that Apollo, that's what you get for beating us. Anyway, uh, ooh. Ooh, okay. Wait. What kind of rivalry is this? Wait, why is there four rivals? Have we teamed up with MVP? Is Dante Inferno joining the Hurt Business? I don't know. Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. No, but seriously, we're going to take a look at the news here. Mustafa Ali and AJ Styles have teamed up. Okay, AJ's in retribution. Um, but they're at an all-time low as they continue to argue with each other how, with how their match turns out. Things look grim for this team if they can't get their issues sorted out before their big match against MVP and Dante Inferno. Okay, that's uh, an unexpected twist for this series for this simulation. Apparently, we've joined the Hurt Business and uh, Asia Styles has joined Retribution. Okay. I mean, you know what? I'm not even going to complain about that. As long as it gets us some TV time right here and we can build our power ranking back up to come after the WWE Champion Kofi Kingston and hopefully finally beat him, although it's Kofi, so you know what's going to happen. If Roman couldn't do it, then who the hell knows? Look, Kofi has pinned the Fiend again. Kofi's OP. Uh, Dolph beats Elias. Alexa Bliss beats Asuka. Uh, Xavier Woods pins Kevin Owens. And in the main event, Roman beats Strowman again. I'm genuinely convinced that Roman and Strowman will be... Oh my goodness me, what the f what? <laughs> what the hell is this? How many rivals? How is everyone in a rivalry here? What? So we've got an eight-man match here with Owens, Woods, MVP, Mustafa Ali, Alistair Black, Shinsuke Nakamura, and Dante Inferno, and AJ Styles. Okay, does Inferno? He doesn't win it. Okay, the other team wins. Uh, it is not going well for Dante Inferno right now. What happened here? Um, teams led by Xavier Woods and Kevin Owens fought out in a big tag team battle, giving everyone a preview of what to expect when they face up at Survivor Series. Okay. Ah, I get it now. All right. I didn't realize what was going on, but I get it. It now it makes sense okay and for anyone who's keeping track kofi beat bray wyatt in the main event again kofi is 
exactly. Uh, I don't want to see Bobby Lashley on the cover of Survivor Series. We should have beaten this guy two times now. But anyway, we are now here at the best of the best Survivor Series, where it's Team uh, Kevin Owens against Team Xavier Woods. And for once, the tag team match at Survivor Series in these simulations matters because we are in it. And so the question is, can Dante Ferro win in his first Survivor Series match? He does. I don't know if he survived until the end, but we won. A dub is a dub on my in my column. And so you know what? I'm going to go ahead and take that. Nicely done, Kevin. Team KO has picked up the dub. We love to see that right there. And uh, yeah, just as Kevin Owens' team of uh, MVP Alistair Black and Dante Ferno were victorious. So let's go. For some reason, Daniel Bryan gave a championship match to Aiden English. Uh, okay. Uh, anyway, uh, Kofi. <sighs> this guy. I need to be the one. The flames need to be the one to burn the pancakes and burn the New Day. It is my goal. Surely after building momentum, after winning the Survivor Series tag match, we've got to be on our road to win the championship match. Hopefully it gets Kofi. But anyway, now we move on to the month of December when Nikki Cross has beaten Bailey. Alexa Bliss meets Mickey James with the Fiend in his corner, or in her corner, sorry. Elias beats Dolph Ziggler. MVP beats Mustafa Ali. And Seth Rollins has beaten Bobby Lashley in a call-out promo. Two of the former rivals of Dante Inferno are now going at it. But moving on, Mickey James goes ahead and beats Alexa Bliss on Raw. Bobby Roode beats Elias. Bobby Lashley beats Dolph Ziggler there away with too many bobs. Kevin Owens beats AJ Styles and MVP has defeated Edge in the main event. December week 3 sees the New Day beat Roman Reigns and Elias. Mickey James beats Alexa Bliss. MVP beats Ricochet. Bobby Lashley beats uh, Seth Rollins in a promo. And Bray Wyatt beats Kevin Owens in a promo as well. And all of a sudden, once again, Dante Ferro is nowhere to be found. I hate this. But now we move on to December week 4 where Seth Rollins has pinned Drew McIntyre. Alexa Bliss has pinned Oscar. You know the internet hated to see that match right there. But anyway... Uh, uh, Shinsuke Nakamura goes in and beats Elias. MVP beats Edge again. And in the main event, the New Day lose to the team. Or they beat the team of Dolph Ziggler and Kevin Owens. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Where is Dante Inferno? You know what, now that I think about it, maybe it isn't all bad. Because we're here in January week 1 right now. Where MVP has won triple threat action. Elias has beaten Dolph Ziggler. But maybe Dante Inferno is going to go ahead and win the Royal Rumble match. I mean, maybe. You never know with these sort of things. He's already been building momentum, you know, here and there, you know. It's been a pretty evenly booked like kind of thing here. He's had some wins. He's had some losses, but you know, maybe this is his time. You guys already know the catchphrase for these universe mode simulations. Anything can happen in a universe mode simulation. Anything. And so I'm still hoping that Dante Fedor wins the Royal Rumble, but I like Swiss Beats Bailey. And, um, okay, 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 all right, you know what? Okay. <laughs> The New Day go ahead and beat the team of Dante Inferno and Kevin Owens. God freaking damn it. Okay. Seth Rollins beats Bobby Lashley in a promo in the main event. And to be honest, I'm surprised that Bobby Lashley and Seth Rollins didn't create a tag team based on their hatred of Dante Inferno. Like, we were viciously attacking both those men for months. I mean, I'm kind of surprised it wasn't a situation of, uh, huh, that Dante Inferno guy, you hate him too? I hate Dante Inferno. You hate Dante Inferno? Let's make a team, buddy. But, uh, anyway, <laughs> moving on. Drew McIntyre has pinned Bray Wyatt. Bray Wyatt has been down bad ever since that Money in the Bank briefcase was cashed in on him. Elias beats Bobby Roode, Alexa beats Mickey, uh, Seth beats Bobby, and MVP beats Mustafa Ali. But now we go ahead and move on to another episode of Monday Night Raw here, just a couple of weeks away from the Royal Rumble. Alexa pins Oscar, Nikki and Mickey are teaming up against Bailey and Ruby. Okay. Wait, no, excuse me, I got that wrong. It was a fatal four way that Nikki beat Mickey for. Okay, that's, you know what? Good for you, Nikki. Anyway, Kevin Owens pins Bray Wyatt again. Bray Wyatt is extremely down bad right now. MVP beats Edge again, and in the main event, Bobby Lashley has pinned Seth Rollins. Now it is time for the Go home show to the Royal Rumble where Bobby Lashley has beaten Elias. Nikki has beaten Mickey. Okay, now I got it right. Nikki has beaten Mickey. Hey, Mickey, you're so fine. You're so fine. You blow my mind. Hey, Mickey. Okay, Asuka has beaten Alexa Bliss. She's beaten the Royal Women's Champion. You love to see that. Roman beats Owens. Okay, just like it was at TLC. And Ricochet beats MVP. And once again, no sign of Dante Inferno. Where is Dante Inferno? Who is Dante Inferno? How is Dante Inferno? I'll never know, according to the Raw book. But now we're here at the Royal Rumble pay per view with Andrade on the cover and this is the night where dreams begin to start they begin to you know they really begin to get going here at the Royal Rumble so the question is can Dante Inferno win the Royal Rumble match we're about to find out here the New Day beats the Street Profits Bobby Lashley has beaten Seth Rollins to retain the United States Championship I'd be so mad if Seth went ahead and won that title but anyway Shelton retains the IC title Carmella loses against Charlotte Flair because let's be honest you're not beating Charlotte Flair it's just the way it is Paige beats Naomi the win Winner of the Women's Royal Rumble is Sasha Banks. Okay, I forgot it actually shows the winners in this, uh, in 2K19. Okay, unlike 2K20. But the question is, am I about to click? And is Dante Inferno the winner of the Men's Royal Rumble? 
Okay, I mean, I guess that's kind of cool because Bray Wyatt was not kind of a down bad streak, so it makes sense for him to go after Kofi again at WrestleMania, but come on. Anyway, now we move on to another episode of Midnight Raw here where Rey Mysterio is facing Dante Inferno. Okay, it's a rivalry match as well. Um, I have a bad feeling about this. Who the hell is about to jump us or something? I have a bad... Yep, okay, all right, okay. AJ Styles rushed down his opponent with a furious attack. AJ Styles wants to smoke now? Oh my god, okay, all right, AJ. But also on the rest of this Raw card, you got Shayna Baszler and Nia Jax beating the Riot Squad. Yeah, I hate to see that. Alexa with uh, the Fiend in this corner beats Bailey. Okay, Alexa and the Fiend are about to be heading out of WrestleMania, both as champions, apparently. Just how they started this simulation. But anyway, uh, the New Day beat Dolph and Roman with Drew in that corner. Uh, and Bobby Lashley and Seth goes to something. But now we move on to February week two where Bobby Lashley is on the cover again. Yeah, I hate to see that. Alexa beats Oscar. Mickey beats Bailey. Kevin beats Drew. AJ Styles has beaten Edge. Okay. You really do hate to see this. Edge has been on a bit of a losing streak of his own right now and Bobby beats Seth but we don't give a damn about you two. Anyway. Did Dante Inferno have a hand in this match right here because we're rivals apparently with AJ. Okay. AJ Styles was caught unaware after his match and was ambushed by his rival Dante Inferno. Okay. You know what? It's not exactly a championship match heading into WrestleMania but against AJ Styles, that's still a decent match. To head into your first WrestleMania and you're facing one of the very best wrestlers of all time, I'll take that, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I definitely would prefer being in that United States Championship picture, but AJ Styles, he's a good consolation prize, I guess. I'm joking, I love AJ Styles, but uh, yeah, not, not too bad. Hopefully though, there's enough time between now and WrestleMania so we can like, get out of this AJ Styles feud and then head for the WWE Championship picture maybe, or something if we're high enough in the power rankings, I don't know, it's all gonna come down to the wire here. All I know right now is that AJ Styles attacked us and we've gotta teach him a goddamn lesson so that begins tonight here on Monday Night Raw Dante Inferno picks up the win against AJ Styles Oscar beats Bailey Kevin beats Bray Alexa Ble uh, beats Mickey um and Bobby beats Seth again we're coming for you two suckers wait a second AJ Styles has had enough from his rival taking out all his frustrations and anger on Dante Inferno with a furious attack oh my god this guy's attacking us now did we just execute a double turn are we face again oh nope you know what never mind we're still a heel Okay. Oh, and that makes even less sense. Apparently, AJ Styles is getting cheered. Okay, so the WWE Universe just loves criminals now, huh? People that just are furiously attack people that never deserved it. Okay, WWE Universe. Now, the WWE Universe may think I have some sort of bias towards Dante Inferno. No, 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 it's the other way around. The WWE Universe has a bias against Dante Inferno right now. Disgusting. But anyway, now we go here for the Go Home Show before the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view. Kevin Owens has beaten Alistair Black. Bailey has beaten Mickey James. Oscar has pinned Nikki Cross. Bobby Lashley has beaten Elias. And AJ Styles has beaten Dante Inferno in the main event. Uh, come on, man. I still believe that there is hope before we get to WrestleMania. Surely, there's a last-ditch effort right here. Uh, Seth Rollins... <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Seth Rollins is your new United States champion. That's not what I wanted to see. Alexa beats Mickey again. Okay, we beat AJ Styles at the pay-per-view here. Surely, surely now we deserve a big WrestleMania Monica match. Hell, I mean, I'm just gonna throw this out here. Give me The Undertaker. The Undertaker's still around in this universe right here. So, I mean, you want to go ahead and give me The Undertaker? Give me Kane. I'll take Kane. I'm Dante Inferno. I'll take on the other guy that loves flames. Give me someone at WrestleMania. I just want to be on the card at this point. But anyway, Bailey beats Oscar. Alistair Black beats Bray Wyatt. And, um, I... Killian Dane is your new WWE champion. Oh my god. You're telling me that Roman couldn't do it. Bray couldn't do it. But Killian Dane from Ireland could do it? What do you mean? And in the main event, Randy Orton has beaten uh, Shinsuke for, I guess that's under what contenders elimination chamber, but the bigger thing in the picture, Killian Dane is your WWE champion. Surely. Surely. Kofi lost the belt. I'll take Killian Dane at WrestleMania. I don't care. I just want the championship by any means necessary. Dante Inferno won his big match against AJ Styles. The crowd was disappointed at the outcome, feeling that he shouldn't have won after the lengths he went. Why does the crowd hate me so much? The WWE Universe didn't even try to support me, so why should I even try to support them? If you're part of the WWE Universe, then fuck you. But now we move on to another episode of Minute Raw here in March, where Mickey James has lost to Alexa Bliss again. Oscar has beaten Bailey. You know, that was a banger. Roman has pinned the WWE Champion. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. This is where it's going. Are you kidding me? Oh, my God. Sanity was running wild, and now I, I just can't say the same, really. Dolph Ziggler has beaten Kevin Owens, and in the main event, Seth Rollins has beaten Dante Inferno, but... 
He's currently the United States champion. So is the game looping back around to this feud at the end of this simulation? Because that's kind of some nice sandwiching right there. And we all love sandwiches. So maybe, I don't know what I was getting at there. I don't know why I said that. I, <laughs> I swear sometimes I just don't know what I'm saying. But uh, okay, we've attacked Seth Rollins and a we've, we've, What's the word? We've uh, incited a rivalry with Seth Rollins. That's what I was looking for. But uh, yeah, okay, I'll take that. Listen, I'm just hungry for gold at this point as we head into fast lane. Alexa Bliss has beaten Mickey with the Fiend in his corner, or in her corner. Asuka has beaten Bailey. Braun Strowman has pinned Killian Dane. How did this guy win the WWE Championship in the first place? How the hell did he win the title? He can't even win a match on Raw. This absolute sucker jabroni. But anyway, Kevin Owens has beaten Alistair Black. And in the main event, Dante Inferno has beaten Elias. Oh, Dante Inferno. Inferno, oh Dante Inferno. <laughs> oh my god, we attacked Seth Rollins as well. Why did we attack him? This guy had nothing to do with our match and we were just like, you know what Seth, fuck you. I'm gonna attack you anyway. Oh shit, we are getting down into it now. Killian Dane is on the fast lane cover. Things are heating up towards the end of this and that's no pun intended. But anyway, Alexa once again retains the role in the championship with the Fiend uh, win her corner. She is undefeatable like that. Andrade beats Primo. Okay, shout out to the great one. Anyway, Kevin Owens beats Alistair Black and yes yes inferno 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 oh my god let's go dante inferno and new united states champion dante inferno suck on that set walls mr burn it down where the inferno will be burning it down from now on <laughs> oh i love to see that okay jimmy and jay win the tag titles carmella does not win the smackdown women's championship and in the main event yeah i told you this guy was a short champion and jabroni none other than aj styles is your new wwe champion heading into wrestlemania with no Kofi in sight, okay. Listen, I know Dante Inferno just won a title, but are you thinking what I'm thinking? Because I'm thinking we attack AJ Styles right here and win the WWE Championship anyway. Or at least I hope that's what happens anyway. AJ Styles, we already beat you in a feud. You better watch your back, son. But anyway, Kevin Owens and Alistair Black went ahead and did something. Mickey James has beaten Bailey. AJ Styles has beaten Bray Wyatt in a call-out promo. Oh yeah, oh, I just remembered. He won the Royal Rumble. Okay, it'll be those two at WrestleMania, I guess. You know what? Fair enough. Maybe we can sneak our way in there, but I doubt it at this point. Seth Rollins has beaten Dante Inferno with a promo, but that doesn't really matter. And Alexa beats Asuka. Not long now until WrestleMania. AJ Styles has been pinned by Drew McIntyre. That WWE Championship picture is a madness in this simulation. But anyway, Seth Rollins has beaten Dante Inferno. He has pinned the champion. Okay, fine. Uh, Alistair Black beats Braun Strowman. Asuka beats Nikki Cross. And Kofi and Big E beat vacant and edge but now we move on with Alexa Bliss on the cover here in April week one where Dante Inferno has lost to Seth again oh this isn't looking good oh no don't do this to me at the end of the simulation please Inferno pull something out Ron Strowman has beaten Kevin Owens Ray Mysterio and Bobby Lashley beat the New Day AJ Styles beats Bray Wyatt in a promo and Nikki Cross beats Alexa Bliss Tim two former best friends going at it and now with AJ on the cover it is time for the go home show to Wrestlemania Kevin and Roman I don't have a clue Mickey wins against the champion Champion. Oscar pins Bailey, Seth and Bobby do something, and in the main event, AJ, wow, just a bunch of draws, I guess. But now, everyone take a deep breath, because we're here at the final pay-per-view of the Dante Inferno on main roster simulation. Sasha Banks has not won the SmackDown Women's Championship. Charlotte Flair is just too damn good. Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford have apparently split up, okay. Uh, Seth, <sighs> pain, I feel nothing but pain. Okay, I guess that's how this simulation had to end at his first WrestleMania. Dante Inferno loses the United States Championship to Seth freaking Rollins. Okay, Shirt and Benjamin once again retains the IC title. Alistair Black beats Kevin Owens. Daniel Bryan beats Aiden English. And in the main event of WrestleMania, AJ Styles retains the WWE Championship against The Fiend. Wow. Man, I was really hoping that Dante Inferno could hold on to that title until the end of the simulation, but Asuka goes out and beats Alexa Bliss in the promo. Bailey beats Mickey James. Shinsuke Nakamura beats Bobby Lashley. Seth Rollins beats Dolph Ziggler. And in the main event, AJ Styles beats Alistair Black with no Inferno in sight. Ah, we've done it. We, we've done it. What a depressing end to the one-year Dante Photo simulation. I mean, we won a title, but now we're just off Raw. That's it now. WrestleMania, and we're gone. Okay. Well, I mean, on that depressing note, that is where I'm going to wrap up Dante Photo's career simulation, being on main roster on Monday Night Raw. He went ahead and lost in a rivalry to Seth Rollins. He lost to Bobby Lashley for the United States Championship a bunch of times, but he won against Bobby Lashley a few times. There was a win against Rey Mysterio in there, against Elias, against Shinsuke that I remember. At one point in the simulation, for some reason, 
reason we joined the Hurt Business for a week. We won at Survivor Series in the Tag Team uh, Elimination Main Event Raw vs SmackDown. And then towards the end, we went ahead and won the United States Championship from Seth Rollins only to lose it again at WrestleMania. And that is your career simulation for Dante Inferno's first year on main roster. Honestly, not terrible, but it could have been better. And I imagine if I did another year with Dante Inferno, we would probably go ahead and win the WWE Championship because that is exactly what kind of caliber of superstar Dante Inferno is. But I guess that's all pure speculation because we're not doing a year two at the moment. So uh, you never know. But anyway, please drop a like in the video if you enjoyed it. It will tell me how to a lot more than you think. And also subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss the upcoming content on the channel. And we're on the road to 20,000 subscribers. And uh, yeah, Dante Inferno, at least in his first year, does not really do that well on main roster, unfortunately. You hate to see it, but thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys have a great day. And that's been it. Too sweet.